wonderful organization. I've been working with the association, so honored to work with them uh, for four years now, and so proud that we have a lot of programs and services going on, but I'll tell you, it's very try tiring and trying because we don't have core funding. We don't have core funding for Indigenous women's organizations, and that's one of the Shame. calls for justice as well, too, that we need core funding, and our funding right. has been cut for health through our, through our Vancouver Coastal Health, so it's really important that we support Indigenous run and manage organizations. That's right. You. My organization is called the Pacific Association of First Nations Women. Awesome. We changed our name the time the AFN changed their name. I was on the board of directors at that time. The AFN, we wanted to be AFN with a W. So we said we're going to be Pacific AFN W. Typical white man. <laughs> so that's man. how people can remember our, our name, P A F N W. Uh, we're on Facebook. Uh, we have a large following. Also, we have a scholarship fund that people can donate to as well through our, our, our website. I want to say, my name is Diana Day. You can follow me on Twitter at, at Diana Daydream. Um, it's really important that we also look at um, the, uh, the impact that this violence has caused on our people and about this gendered violence as well, too. That what happened to our people when colonization happened is that um, they, they attacked the women and they took the power away from the women. That's right. So our, our matriarchal community, the women was the clan mothers. The clan mothers chose the chiefs. The clan mothers chose the chiefs. So they watched the kids growing up from when they were little. So they would know who was a good who was a good man, who was a good provider, who was a good protector, who was who was loyal, who was trustworthy. All those qualities and, and uh, things were really important. And so those clan mothers had that had that responsibility to choose those, those chiefs. And then if those chiefs did not live up to their duties, they were taken out. So that was the other thing that could happen. So it wasn't a lifelong thing. Now we have uh, paper chiefs. That's right. Paper chiefs. We don't have those traditional chiefs still uh, recognized by many communities. So just thinking about all those, the colonization, the different levels, and how it's so important. Uh, and I want to ask people, have, have you heard about the calls for justice? How many of you have heard about the calls for justice? Yes. Raise your hand. Thank you, thank you. So, and then, have you read the calls for justice? How many of you have read the calls for justice? Thank you. Now go. Thank you. Now go for that. It's so important that we that we, we uh, look at the calls for justice and the basic income um, was one of the things that was mentioned in there about addressing the disproportional um, poverty rates of our people, of my people. And I know that's because of racism and discrimination is a big part of that because it's really hard. It's really hard to, to survive in, in a system that's set up to fail you. And that's what these systems are, are done. They're set up to fail us. So I really want to say it's important for you to, to reach out, to acknowledge, to respect, to learn, to listen to First Nations voice and to invite them in. Thank you to Sherry for inviting me here to speak to, to these people here about, uh, about the issues that, that really matter. Because, you know, if we can do this, imagine all the people, those people that would be lifted up. Thank you. We'd lift up all those people. They'd be lifted up and they'd be supported. And they wouldn't have to worry about, you know, where their next meal is going to come from. We have right now, we have some funding from Indigenous Services Canada to do uh, home delivery for food. And so uh, we have over 370 uh, families, women and families uh, in Vancouver on our list. And we have over 170 elders on our list. And we have over 160 youth on our list. All that need food. This is now today. You know, this is something that it's 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 critical. It's critical that we really need to to uh, to get together, to come together. The other thing about colonization was the divide and conquer, divide and conquer. So we have to get away from that too. We have to pull together, people together awesome. from all races, from all races, all all people, all, and all genders as well too. So just thinking about all of that and how we need to be 